151 million Americans travel with their pets. They spend $40 billion a year spoiling their four-legged friends. And there's no one stop to tell them where to go. Until now. One man and one man's best friend crisscrossing America searching for all places pet friendly. Now this looks like a place that might accept dogs. I'm gonna run in and ask them. Hey, not only do they accept pets, they encourage them. Well, we're all checked in at the Hotel Aiken. Pet friendly since, well, since it started in 1837. Hotel Aiken is located on Richland Avenue in the center of downtown. Along with every modern amenity, the hotel features the Polo Tavern, located right in its lobby, and it's fast becoming one of Aiken's favorite watering holes. And another great thing about the Hotel Aiken, one-third of its courtyard rooms welcome pets. Oh, man, this is great. What a nice room. Huh? Pretty lucky here, aren't we? Pet places exploring the country by boat, on, by rail, by plane, by car, by pet and quad, discovering the places that make faces grin. Hot out here. How you doing? Hannah and I are in Aiken, South Carolina, and this place is Hopeland Gardens, and it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this place. You can bring your dog, which is awesome. Uh, it's free to the public, which is even more awesome, my kind of price, and it's an oasis. There's picnic areas, there's a bandstand, there's trees from all over the state of South Carolina here. Hey, and there's plenty of places to get a drink for a dog. Ooh, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. One of the things Hannah and I do on our many travels is we try to find the cool things to do in every town. And I will say this. Next time you're in Aiken, South Carolina, come here, please. Pet Places. Discovering the places that make tails wag. I'm here at Bonafide Bakery in Aiken, South Carolina. And let me tell you, this place is full of some of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I mean, look at these treats. Well, I'm back in the kitchen at Bonafide Bakery, and I'm here with Kelly and Lindsay, and these two are the guru of gourmet, and they are putting together some of the most amazing talk treats I've ever seen. Now, how do we get this process started, ladies? Well, we'll start with this ball of dough. Ah, just out of curiosity, have you ever like, tasted the dough? I have. Have you? Yes. I'm in. It's real. It just tastes like nothing. Uh, those are the low-fat ones. They're not going to taste very good. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> now what? <clears throat> These are the specialty treats mm -hmm. that we sell individually. Mm -hmm. The treats that you were working on, those are the ones we sell by the pound. Mm -hmm. And what and else? These we sell individually. Mm -hmm. Our profit margin is dropping as we speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I feel <clear>. good. <laughs> they're not bad. We eat them all the time. Pet Places. Unlocking pet-friendly America one town at a time. <laughs> but there's gonna be some shame that's around this place. I thought I'd like to know the future's bright as Christmas, but it's, it's just that slow. I keep singing for my supper and I bow my head before I eat. I'm praying for another voice when I sing myself to sleep. Yeah, there's gonna be some shame.